Hey friends, welcome back to the Gubba Homestead. I'm Gubba and today we are in my food storage cellar. I wanted to talk to you about Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers. As you can see, I use them in my food storage and behind me, Wallaby Goods sent me their Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers and they have become my favorite. After all these years of using Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers, different kinds, they have become by far my favorite. So I wanted to open this up and show you why so you can see and also some differences between the other Mylar bags that I've used in the past. So then you can see the difference and why I love them so much for my food storage. All right, so they sent me five gallon Mylar bags, which are ginormous. These are for using in your five gallon bucket. This is what I use to store things like wheat berries. So wheat berries are a great thing that you can store long term in five gallon buckets, but you need to have them in Mylar with oxygen absorbers. The reason you use oxygen absorbers is because oxygen can deteriorate the food in your food storage. I am going to open this up, show you what it looks like and why I love their bags. Actually, before I even do that, I went and grabbed, this is the bag that I have from Walby Goods and I am now using for everything that I do in my pantry. So like pastas, um, anything that I freeze dry like fruit or meat, I have been storing in these size bags. I wouldn't do something like meat in a five gallon bag. I just don't freeze dry that much. But these are the other sizes that I have that I'll also show you in just a moment. Okay, so I am just so excited right now. Prepping and food storage just gets me pumped. I feel kind of like a nerd, but so here is the Wallabies five gallon Mylar bag. And then these are the old Mylar bags that I was using. I got these from As Your Standard. And what I don't love about them is that they have ripped easily on me. Um, and which is a huge pain. So imagine when you're filling up bags of wheat berries, like bags and bags of wheat berries, and then there's a rip and then you gotta redo the whole process. And if there's a rip in the bag, an oxygen absorber is not gonna do anything because it's just gonna keep absorbing oxygen. So I don't love the thinner material, which I have ran into with other Mylar bags. This isn't the only kind that I've ran into that problem with. Whereas these bags, they're thicker, and I don't know how to explain it, but they're they're smoother, which in my opinion, in using these has made it so they haven't ripped as easily. I actually haven't experienced any rips doing this, but the other Mylar bags I use have. And as you can see, as I'm opening this and these crinkles form, when you are pouring stuff into the bag, when you have this inside of a bucket and then you're pouring it in, these crinkles like get sharp. They protrude more and that's where the rips happen. And so far I have not had that problem with these, which I am so happy about. In the rest of the bag, it also comes with the oxygen absorbers. So these are 2,500 cc, 2,500 cc, which you will need per bag of whatever you're storing in the five gallon buckets. And it comes with this little neat, like foods that store best, beef jerky, it tells you how long. Each one does granola, black eyed peas, because you can do beans, you can do coffee, coffee for up to 20 to 30 years, dried lentils, dried kidney beans, rolled oats, which I have. I have oats, I have beans, I have cocoa powder, I have granola. So there's all these things that you can do with Mylar. But that is what comes in the five gallon package. And I love that it just comes in a super easy to use container. When I got sent oxygen absorbers previously, um what was a huge pain is they came in one huge bag so when i open up the bag i then had to reseal with a vacuum sealer these are individual so it's individual use i'm not opening up all the oxygen absorbers and they absorb a little oxygen each time because then you don't have to worry about how long these are exposed to oxygen if they're going bad so this is what i'm talking about right here I got sent these oxygen absorbers. These are 300 cc and some oxygen has gotten in, but I kept these to use and to show the difference when oxygen gets in, they're all in one container. So they're not individual use. When I open this, they're all exposed to oxygen and it's such a pain. It's such a pain. And then I have to re-vacuum seal it. Whereas you got your individual use right here. Oh, such a prepping lifesaver. This, not a fan. This, huge fan. 
And then with the smaller Wallaby Goods bag, so this one is a 10 by 14. Let me show you, okay? Open them up. I love that they're thick. And then down here, this bottom opens up and they stand up. And you may be thinking, what? That's not a big deal. So with these Harvest Right bags that came with my freeze dryer, they don't stand up. They will just fall down because there's no bottom like that. And this makes all the difference too when you are trying to fill this up and you are constantly having to hold this at the side or hold it open, it can become a pain and make a big mess. I would suggest having Mylar bags that can stand up for convenience. Absolutely love that. I know it's such a little thing. Here's also some other Mylar bags that I have used before. It's similar material. This is the material that rips easily that I was showing you. They also don't stand up. So this right here, such a game changer. Another game changer for me that I have noticed in using Mylar bags and oxygen absorbers but that we've already talked about is the material. So these Harvest Right bags, in a previous video that I did, I was using a straightener to seal my Mylar bags, which you totally can do. But these Harvest Right bags, the material is so thin that it burned right through the material like the straightener was too hot. But these bags, the material's thick and the straightener seals them perfectly. So these Harvest Right bags, you need the special heat clamper that comes with them, which is fine, but in awkward areas, like if I wanted to come right here and put stuff into my Mylar bags, I wanna use my straightener. Having to deal with a clamper right here, it's big and clunky, I can't move it around as easy. I don't wanna do that. I wanna use my straightener down here, which is what I do when I'm using Mylar down in my cellar. These bags, you can use a straightener for which I'm telling you makes all the difference in the awkward angles, the places that you're gonna be doing mylar. These you can't use a straightener for. You have to have a special heat clamp because the material's thin and flimsy, and because the material's thin and flimsy, it also breaks easier. These, straightener proof, you can stand them up, and the material's thick. <laughs> It has taken me a while, trial and error, of using Mylar bags, different oxygen absorbers, to come to find what I love. And really, like, the biggest game changer for me was that they stood up. Like, I love that so much. When I have been in my kitchen and I'm putting my freeze-dried goods in here, or pastas, I like to put pastas in Mylar bags, I'm just telling you, it makes all the difference. So I love that they stand up by themselves. So for all of those reasons, that is why I really love the Wallaby bags in my food storage. I can depend on them. They don't break, they don't rip, they stand up by themselves, and I can use a straightener on them. So that is why I use them in my food storage. I have a guide that can walk you through how to build your food storage, what items are great in Mylar, how I use a three-tier system in my food storage. So you can check that out. If you are interested in checking out wallaby good bags for your food storage you can check them out down below and i appreciate you guys so much for being here for coming along on this food storage journey for being a part of it and hopefully you are learning right along with me i love sharing this wisdom and hoping everybody has a food storage so don't do anything a couple with you and i will see you next time bye